you you assuming there's the location. Yeah, like so so routine surveillance on this on this arcade. That's that what it sounds like. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like they're looking at like more of the behavior of how it's played rather than like what how much money it's making or or that kind of stuff. So you had all of this activity happen within a month or so of Polybius, you know, coming on the scene reportedly in these couple of arcades, and then it's gone. It disappears. The the cabinets are supposedly removed. All of them, all evidence of them actually being there was taken away. Um, and it pretty much just disappeared for a time until you had the real, you had that first kind of posting in 2000 that came out and brought everything back into the spotlight about these strange rumors about this game that supposedly uh, had these really strange effects on a bunch of kids. <laughs> wow. Now, if people people who are familiar with the arcade scene and people who are familiar with gaming, uh, we mentioned ROM, you know, read-only memory, uh, stuff like that, the core programming of uh, video games. And, and most people know on the internet now, you can find a lot of ROMs of things. I used to have one on my laptop. I used to have a MAME, a multi-arcade uh, whatever I mean, you could download the ROMs for you know old arcade games, X Men, like ten thousand. Yeah, games you could put them all on there, program. and you could you know you, you, people do it now. It, it's and it's almost like it's a form of preservation. Like some of these games, like they're they're gone. Like they're all of their all the cabinets the originals, are gone. The originals are gone. gone. Yeah. Um, you're not going to be able to find them except for for in these archives and some of these things. So, um, a, a supposed ROM of the game actually turned up in 2004 and when when you run it uh people apparently went, uh, ran it on their computer downloaded it and ran it through through an emulator or whatever it, it prompts the user with a warning saying that you know playing this game could possibly cause memory loss or epileptic seizures <laughs> and uh, so people that, took- i mean that's you know, I mean, maybe that warning in 2004 was I, I, because I, I was I'm a pretty avid gamer, and it's hard to remember when I first started seeing those warnings. But it's like they're pretty standard on any game now, on every game, pretty much yeah. now. I, so it's yeah, like I've is, never is seen this, one. Is so this unusual? Is this unusual in 2004? Maybe. Is that like with that? I remember the big FDA warning. That you get yeah, you games. just usually you just Is click that right that's through. That's on. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I okay. still I I see them a lot now. So maybe yeah, it is not that unusual to see that these days and put that put that warning in there is just a general precaution. Uh, but this is general. But yeah. this was something that you know people ran this game to figure it's like, out it's pretty much it's equivalent to uh before people started getting burned and suing for hot coffee and then they put hot on the coffee hot chowed on oh it. you chawed you mean chawed yeah. hot, hot chawed, chawed. <laughs> yeah. now now there's but like this may cause a seizure on every game even if it's not you don't actually read it if, if you would look at the fine print or like actually go into the details but this game may cause seizures a, a very small percentage yeah but you're better off to put that than not just put, put it, it. and yeah. then you know you're playing nhl and you have a seizure and get sued or someone sues you uh, like. so if people accepted you know they they pressed okay and they ran the, the actual rom itself um the the polybius logo from the ar- the original arcade cap picture photo of the arcade cabinet on coinop.org like runs across the screen and people kind of start playing and then nothing except that sound <laughs> good foley work yeah, right uh yeah because that's the error message that pops up and says april fools <laughs> April Fool's, please send this to a friend. (laughs) Something like that. Um, By 2004, Polybius had kind of, like, it had already kind of generated this own, its own mystique, its own legend, its own lore uh, within the short years than when it had originally, you know, when the original post had popped up on coinop.org. And it is this, all of these things that we, we, we said and we mentioned that were reportedly associated with Polybius um, became part of just this legend and people trying to uncover the, the, the true history of Polybius. So if, if you break it down, if, if we want to break it down, like we did the, the Sinus Lotion, the Sinus Lotion is a, a translation, seems to translate into something like a sensory deprivation or senseless or something yeah. like that. If you break yeah, down senseless. Polybius, Polybius, the name of the game, is actually taken from a Greek historian who was actually born in Megalopolis, Arcadia. 
Um, during like the he lived during the like the Hellenistic era, if I remember correctly. Those dirty Arcadians, right? And he and he's actually I, he's actually well known within uh, historical circles because he was one of the people who is the main sources for the history of the rise of the Roman Empire. Uh, Empire. And he actually was one of the few people at the time who were proponents of using of, of factual integrity um, of records and, and was a very big fan of using firsthand accounts when actually, uh, you know, putting down records, which was something that was at that time was revolutionary. Like people didn't really think of that. You just take stuff <laughs> as it said, and then just kind of just go <laughs> like somebody, somebody told me, told me, and then, you just put yeah. it down on paper, and that's what happened. And he's like, "Let's <laughs> let's have the first person who saw it write it down." Yeah, let's not play the fucking telephone. Not your sister's, now. not your sister's uh, friends, cousins, uncle. No, listen, listen. Sick. I was there. <laughs> he did not turn water to wine. I, I that's but that doesn't even make yeah, sense. So every account was, was taken there. by from Jesse Ventura. If it's not taken from Jesse Ventura, yeah, yeah. then okay. <laughs> Torture. Um, Polybius also was a student of cryptography, and his name is actually lent to a type of cipher, which is the Polybian cipher, which is a very, square. Um, the Polybian square the Polybian square which is a uh yeah. basically replacing uh letters of the alphabet with numbers like in a, in a little grid fashion um and oh yeah put it all together so, so he was the ancient oh. he was the ancient greek fucking zodiac zodiac <laughs> yeah right yeah Polybius is a zodiac yes yeah, somebody who lived it adds up to me yes the original like, zodiac yeah, a, a historian from done <laughs> yeah uh yes so uh we solved two cases almost uh, the mystery but we still have zodiac. the we solved the zodiac case but we still have the mystery of polybius as to whether it is actually real or not and the interesting thing is is that people aren't still aren't sure as to whether polybius was a real thing if the game actually existed now the one the one piece of photo evidence that we do have is that picture of the original black cabinet um that, that runs across the top, Polybius, that is on the original coinop.org. And people, uh, you know, people who are uh, hist arcade historians and people who preserve arcades, which is not unusual, um, have looked at this. And, and even they're not quite sure whether it is perhaps, it could have been Photoshopped. It is a low res photo of, of this actual cabinet. And so people are not sure whether maybe it could be, it could have been photoshopped but also when they look at it they say that there's a lot of uh there's a lot of elements to the design of the cabinet which seem to be taken from different arcade games at the time from different styles of arcade games from you know the midways the the uh what was the other one midways nintendo's um uh, uh what was the other one Atari. Um, I'm not Atari's and all of those you, ones. You impressed me by saying Midway. Right? You didn't have to continue. <laughs> so we've got our own like fucking basic like arcade archaeologists. Yeah, there. I mean, there's, exactly. yeah, there's tons of people who do that, and it's like we went to the we went to the one place when we were in LA. It's kind of like that, like the the classic arcade places, except people have them. But we went to joysticks, place. right? Yeah, I've been to joysticks in, in Orlando. Orlando. Yeah, that was yeah. We've cool. been to where? Where did we go in uh, the in? Um, the last place we went there in Austin too. We went oh, to oh shit. We played that place is awesome. There. That, was, that right, place is right. What's that place called? Cider or something. Cider. Cider. Cider Cade. Cider, Cider, Cider Cade. Yeah, yeah, that's what it yeah. was. Um, so when we went, we didn't see a, uh, a Polybius uh, cabinet. And I doubt that you'll be able to find one anywhere except ones that have been built like custom built, which I think people actually have done. Um, you know, just based on the photos and, and trying to figure out, because I was impressed by looking into this, that the detail that people have gone into analyzing that one photo of the actual cabinet, like right down to the coin slots, like right going right into there and being like these ones, like you wouldn't normally find on these types of arcade games that you normally well, had a, at the it, time. It's a, it's a tough time because photo resolution was so fucking garbage. And also, photoshopping was so garbage that it's like it's just all hot garbage so you're like i can't really tell <laughs> anyway there's so few pixels to look at here um so dan we're about to get into uh, into uh michael lopez here really quick but before we do that i think we should touch on the second entry in uh what is it coin, coin pro Co 
coin op that org. Coin op, coin op, yeah, coin op. We should touch on that, but do you boys want to do that after the fucking beer break, or you want to get right into it? Because this is long. Well, it's long. Well, if it's long, then we're gonna take a short break, and we're gonna be. Let's take a short break. Come right. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.